going to just be writing some stuff down here. What does the back of your notes page look like? Is it blank? Perfect. blank stuff here. Okay, exponentials. When you evaluate an exponential, this is kind of the idea. Evaluate this. Okay, so I would say the result is 36. So let's talk about the components here. Six is what we would call a base. Two was the exponent. And when we work with, when we start to graph these, that is going to be the x or the input. And 36 is what I'm going to call the result. And in a graphing concept, that's usually the y or the output. And today, we're going to learn logarithmic. Logarithms. Logarithms or Okay, so this is a new term. So when I evaluate logarithms, they look like this. Okay, so this is backwards brain thinking. I am trying to now find what is the exponent so 6 is my base, 36 is the result, and my answer to this, when I answer it, it is what is the exponent that makes this work? that when we talk about an input-output, it was backwards. This time, the result was my input, and the exponent was my output. Okay, so it's just making your brain do what you know, but backwards. I need to make sure you know some stuff from your past, so we're going to go all the way back to grade 10. If you ever saw this, do you know what you could write that as an exponent? A square root of something is the same as having an exponent of, does anybody remember? A half. What about something that would look like that, which would say the cubed root of eight? How else could I write it in exponential form? One third. Okay? So that's important to remember in this unit. Some stuff from the past. Okay. Square root mm -hmm. is like a half. Yeah, sure. If you go like this, 25 to the exponent, 0. 0.5. Oh, that's just the same way of saying. 81 that. to the exponent, 0. 0.5. Nice. Okay, something else from the past. 
What about negative exponents? Grade 9 passed here. What, what did you do with those things? Anybody remember? When you have a negative exponent, you can move it to the opposite part of the fraction and then make it positive. Do you remember that? Is in grade 9? Okay, so those three ideas you better remember from the past. Okay, and there's one more log concept here that I want to talk about. Okay, so if I ever wrote this, Do you notice how I didn't write a base there? So when that is blank, they are using the normal base number for logarithmics, and that is a 10. So they don't write it. It's one of those things that gets assumed. Okay, so what is the result of this? So in other words, what's the exponent? So what is my brain thinking? The base is 10. I'm trying to figure out what exponent would make a result of 1,000. So what should I put here? Three. Your calculator does those logs for you. So you do have a log button. Mine is right here if I push second function one. I'm not sure. Did everybody find your button looking somewhere for it? Okay, this button though doesn't work unless you have a 10 base. Okay, so this right here, I have a little 10 basically. It's an imaginary little 10 as a base. So we decided that it should be 3. That's the exponent. You what? You have a different button than allows me to reach everything. You have a different button, the one that you said it to. You have a button that does that? Yeah. I just got onto this and Oh. You? You guys shouldn't be telling me this thing. This is well, bad. Just, well, you said we couldn't do it. So. Maybe I might have to say no calculator in this test. Uh, what? Oh. You guys all have these magic do buttons. Do you have two logs? Yeah, I don't know what they mean. Well, I don't know how to use well, it. Just, so. it. just don't use how to use it and we're fine. <laughs> just don't use it. Don't use that button. What are we not, not, not doing? What is the difference between them? I'm not going to tell you. Oh. Like you do the Autumn. Log, Shh. Big three, big three, big three. Okay. Oh. We might have to be and no calculators on this test. Okay. Can you? I decided we were going to flip to a couple pages in our notes because I don't want to graph today. To this one? So this is the page of your notes. Okay, so we talked about the forms. So this is an exponential form, 5 to the 4th equals that. So if I changed it around, it would look like that. Okay, ready? This exponential is going to be log... Okay, what do we put as the little thing? The base, so four is the base. 
the result was 2, and it equals the exponent. The base is down there. This is the result, and the output is the exponent. OK. Here we go. What's the base? When I look at this one, what's the base? 2 is the base. The exponent is 7. 2 to the 7th equals a result of 128. OK, exponent, make this into log form for me. So log, so my base is 3. The result was 9, so that means it equals the exponent 2. OK, base of? Which one is the base on this last one? Two. Two? Exponent four equals result 16. Okay? So that would be something if you needed to refer back to. That's the way it's always operating. OK. Estimating. OK, so 2 is what here? 2 is what? The base. 2 is a base. 40 is a what here? A result. And x is the exponent. OK, do you know anything about 2 to something? Can you give me an example of 2 to a what? Do you know what 2 cubed is, for example? 8. OK, well, that's not really close to 40. Do you know what 2 to the 4th would be? 16. OK, that's not close to 40 yet. What's 2 to the 5th? 15. Keep multiplying by 2. What's another 2 times? 15. 32. What's 2 to the 6th? 64. OK, so what do I know about x? What is it between? It's between 5 and 6. If you, you can't use a calculator, what is your better estimate if you were to pick x equals 5 decimal, what's your prediction? Five point two three four. <coughs> Just a one decimal place. That's my estimate. I'm going to actually go with squiggly lines here because I'm estimating. If somebody wrote me that x is about 5.7, I would say that's not a good estimate. Why would I tell them not? Closer to 6. Right. Because I'm thinking I'm closer to that one than I am to that one. Okay? Okay. What's the base I'm using? 6. I'm trying to estimate the exponent to get a result of 125. OK. We would know 6 squared, right? 36. Does anybody know 6 cubed? 216. Did you know that or did you already? Well, I totally put them in the calculator. <laughs> okay. All right. It's obviously between the value of 2 and 3. 
Are we leaning closer to something? Two point seven. So at this point, I would probably be going like this. Two point seven. Oh yeah, that's pretty close. Look at that. Okay. Do you notice my communication here? Did you notice on this one that I put x is equal to or approximately equal to? Did you notice on this one I didn't put x? Because here I was asked to equal x, and here it's just putting the value. So this would be a communication error if I put x equals on this one. Here I want it to be x equals, here I don't. Okay? If you put x equals, here's the equivalent to doing that. If I ever said, what's 4 times 5, and you answered me x equals 20, that doesn't make sense. You should say 4 times 5, and you should just say 20, not x equals 20. Okay. Next. Ready? I'm going to say, what's the base of this? Base is 5. What's the exponent? 2 equals a result of 4x plus 10, uh, plus 1. Base exponent result. Okay, 25. Okay, now it's algebra time. What are you going to do to get this isolate? So isolate algebra techniques. So minus 1. Divide by 4. X equals 6. Okay, number 2. Base, 6, exponent, 2, equals a result, okay, base, exponent, result, just those three components, I'm rearranging them. So I'm going to go 36 equals... What do you want to do with this style of equation to solve algebraically? What do you notice? What kind of equation are we dealing with here? We have two variables. We're quadratic. So what's our first instinct to do when we have a quadratic stuff? Mm -hmm. Equals zero. We got to get it equal to zero if we have two variables. You think this one um, factors? Do we have anything? Multiplying to 36? Adds to 5? Okay, now I just have to be careful here. This portion, this result, can't be negative. So I'm just going to double check here. When I put in negative 9, are we still okay? It's not that I don't want x to be negative. I just don't want this to be negative. So negative 9 squared is 81 plus 5 times negative 9. It's still good, yeah. You just need to double check. This can't be negative as a result. So just be careful sometimes when you get things like this with two results. Okay. Base 
exponent result. Can you rearrange this? So I'm going to change it from a log to an exponent form. Base. So base is x, exponent, 3 quarter, equals 27. Okay, so this you would have done in grade 10. admitted math that year. All right. I want to end up with an x. That's my goal, right? Which is like x to the 1. What would I do here to make a 1? 0. 3 quarter times 0 does not make 1. And was it? A quarter. A quarter? Not quite. Oh. Very four. Um, no. Nope. Four over three. Four oh. over three. So I'm also going to do this side. Same thing. You notice that's what I want, right? I wanted an x to the one, and that's what I got there. Okay. Here is your test if you did this in grade 10 or not. What are you doing? I'm going to mathematically do that. Nope. What is this mathematically the same as? The cubed root. Because where is this 3? It's like, it's like that. Right? What is this the same as? I just talked about this. It's the same as doing a cubed root. What's the cubed root of 27? What times what times what? Three. Three. Three times three times three is 27. So that's three, but I still have to take it to the fourth, right? Because I still have this. So what is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3? Three. I don't remember this. I do not understand this. What is happening? You didn't do that in grade 10? No. Nope. Okay. You might not be able to go as fast as you want, Marcy. <laughs> I know, I didn't know I had to teach grade 10 today yet. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about this one uh, today too, actually. Okay, do you notice that the base is the same and the base is the same? Are you okay if I conclude this exponent must equal that exponent? Does that make sense? Yes. So if the bases are the same that exponent better equal that exponent. How do I solve that? Isolate. So I'm going to group some x's together. So I'm going to subtract 3x. That's my first move. I'm going to add 4. Two. Oh, my bases are not the same. Is there some number that I can common it out with as a base? Three. How do I write nine? Three to the <clears throat> three squared is nine. So this is nine. Okay, all I did was rewrite 9 differently. Are we okay with that? Okay, 
You guys, I'm going back again to grade nine. What do you do to these exponents? Would you add or multiply them together? Multiply. You did it, you remembered. <laughs> you multiply. So three to the eight X plus 14. Now, can we conclude? The bases are the same. We better make sure the exponents now just need to be the same. Okay, go ahead, it's solving just algebra here. one here. Look at this value and look at this value. Is there something common base-wise we could write them both with? Five. Five. Okay, so how do we rewrite 25? Five squared. I just talked about this at the start of class. How do you rewrite 1 over 125? Negative. What? 3? 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Okay, you remember though that that's a negative, right? Because it put it to the bottom. Okay, now it's going to go 5 to the... So that's going to get multiplied, right? So 6x minus 4 is going to be the same as 5 to the negative 12x plus 15. Okay, so if my bases are the same, I have to conclude my exponents will now need to be the same and solve. Anybody matching? Okay. We're going to do a few together here. So starting on page 8. Start on page 8. 